Pretty much everyone is familiar with this knob on the car. This controls the fan speed. Most people don't even give it a second thought. A lot of switches and controls on modern cars don't actually do the bulk of the work. They just relay information to something else that does all that for it. This is the case for the control switch because it is relaying information to the blower motor resistor. Usually underneath the dashboard there is a resistor bank and this controls which one of those resistors in that bank you are using. From off to one you are changing from off to on but you also get the slowest speed. If this dial itself was a variable resistor you would be able to turn this to any position you want and it would always do something. But on this car, it only has the four speeds and off. When a blower motor resistor fails, it can cause one or multiple of those settings to just not blow anything at all or blow full speed. Usually it's the first of the two. What usually happens is one of the connections will burn up or the resistor itself will get too hot and just burn its insulation away and then just fry itself the connection will actually physically break and no electricity can flow through that so you'll get nothing at all. However, if just one resistor breaks the other settings should still work. If the fan doesn't blow on any of the settings it could be a burnt out fan motor or any number of other problems. On some older resistor blocks you can actually look at it and see the resistor pieces and you'll see some are burnt or completely fried away. A really common GM one that I'm familiar with is a little plastic piece that has a green stick that comes out almost computer chip colored and in the bottom corner it actually be a little burn mark. You can't really see any of the resistors or anything because it's covered in insulation but that corner burnt tells you that there's definitely something burnt out in there and you need to replace the blower motor resistor. When you go to buy a replacement blower motor resistor, because resistor technology has gotten so much better over the years, the resistor block that comes out of your car and the resistor block that comes out of the parts box may look different. However, on some of the more modern ones, the part that you actually replace just looks like a piece of plastic with a heat sink on it. You can't really look at those to tell if there's actually something going on that's burnt or not. You just have to test it or just replace it. The blower motor resistor does not control your temperature and it does not control where the air gets sent. The only time this other dial has anything to do with the blower motor resistor is when this dial has a max air setting that makes it blow even faster than the maximum setting on this dial. If you learned something or just enjoyed this video, consider subscribing. I'm going to be making a whole lot more videos and this is just the first one in the first season. Thanks for watching.